Hi, this is Brian Gracely, and in this video, we're going to talk about uh, what I'm going to call sort of how to leverage technology to uncover new markets. Now, um, for most business managers, uh, you've never heard of terminology like big data and structured data and unstructured data and things like that. You think about you know uh, market market cap. You think about total addressable market space. You think about um, you know, market penetration and size of new markets and, and all sorts of things like that. Now, the reason I bring that up is because there's really sort of two ways to go analyze markets, or really, let's, let's break it down, how to take information that you may have and begin to analyze it, right? To some extent, there's things that you would traditionally think of as sort of business data, right? And this is going to be a combination of data that you have in-house uh, that might live in something you call a data warehouse or something you call business intelligence. In essence, uh, they live in databases, which is considered to be structured information, right? It's information that fits neatly. It comes from manufacturing. It's about product data. It's sort of, uh, you know, market rows and tables of this year with this number of people, with this action that happened. Um, and this is where your quote-unquote business analysts tend to hang out, sort of in, in business data. Now, what's happening is that's fine. There's plenty of information about that, and a lot of times it's fed by you know, industry analysts within your specific vertical. But the flip side of that is there's a tremendous amount of what I would typically call sort of public market knowledge, things that are happening in the public domain, on the Internet, in social media sites, Twitter and Facebook and Google+, and, and uh, you know, just search data. You know, you might see it from public data, right? Government information from the census or from the weather division or from the traffic, you know, department of blah, blah, blah. Um, and it's all that sort of googly information that you tend to think about, right? Stuff that uh, I can search for things. There's news sites. There's alerts. There's, like, how do they do all that, right? But this is typically considered, like, what they call unstructured data, things that don't necessarily nicely fit into these tables and rows and tools that business typically use to analyze data. Okay, so this might also include things like videos, uh, information about, you know, analytics about all this stuff. Now, why does that matter to a business manager? Well, um, it's important because there's really, it's important for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, there needs to be a realization that there's both this kind of data, which your business tends to invest in, tends to analyze, tends to make decisions on, but also, more and more so, this is a tremendous amount of information. And in the marketplace, this tends to be about 80% of all the information that's getting created. And this really may only be about 20% of the data. Now, some people may have different numbers, but it's, it's, a, it's orders of magnitude like that. So the challenge is, this you really know how to deal with. As a business, most businesses know how to deal with this information. They've got people, they've got tools, they've got so forth. This is much more complicated because it's a lot of noise, right? Somebody saying they're having a turkey sandwich may or may not be important to your business. It might be if you're in the turkey business. It might be if you're in the business of trying to realize where do they have that turkey sandwich? What city are they in? What time of day are they in? How old is that person? But it may also be, be complete noise, right? So the noise to value ratio here is very, very high. Lots of, lots of noise, right? But the reason I bring this up and the reason we're talking about this topic is more and more as a business manager you have to realize that there's this coming together of the tools that will help you analyze this and the type of skills and people you have to analyze this and the newer tools that are coming together that say hey I can look at that massive amounts of information right you know four or five times as much information lots of it noise lots of it may not be useful to you but there are some really really important things in there that may not nicely fit into this like sentiment do I like your product? Do I dislike your product? Am I using certain words that convey that I love your product, that I hate your product? Are there, is there information in there about geography? Where did I eat that turkey sandwich? What time of day? How many bites did I have to take? Are you making a sandwich that's too big, right? So being able to realize that there are tools now that will help you analyze this information as well, or sometimes better, and this information, bringing those two things together this is where you're going to start to start to unlock new markets. I understand my existing business. Do I understand new opportunities for my business? Do I understand what my competitors are doing? And how are my, how's the marketplace talking about those people? How are they figuring out things about what my product does? How are they figuring out about my competitors? 
Where are they consuming things, right? Geography, location, time, what device are they using, right? Did they go to a website? Did they use an app, right? Being able to pull these things together, realizing that I've got to start investing in these type of tools as much as I've invested in these types of tools, and I've got to start thinking about them as not just silos of information, silos of knowledge, but I really got to make this, bring them together. This is the important aspect. And some people in the technology space will call this big data. Okay, fine, there's a lot of data. Um, but really what it's becoming is a realization that there's market information, there's tools, there's technologies that will help you bring together traditionally what you're used to looking at in ways you're used to looking at it with these newer ways that people are generating information, generating information about markets, about sentiment about your product, about your competition, the speed and the velocity at which that information is being shared is tremendously valuable to you. And the companies that are harnessing this, that are bringing these things together, are the ones that are going to go lead markets. They're going to be the ones who really understand why do I go into a certain new market? How do I go into a certain new market? What are the nuances? Which, which door do I enter in to be successful with that? So I talk about this because it's really important for business managers to realize there's new information that's valuable to you. There are tools uh, that can help you do this. Um, and the nice thing about it is these tools in many cases sometimes are less expensive than, than these tools. And there really are some new thinking that goes on about how to bring these two things together. It gives you a very, very rich, very full picture of what's happening in the world between this sort of structured information and unstructured information that are both growing at very, very rapid paces that could very well affect whether you're successful in your business going forward or you get left behind by somebody who has better knowledge and better insight into what the market's doing. So hopefully this talk about big data or really how to uncover new markets through technology and information is helpful and I hope you get a chance to watch the rest of the videos. Thanks and have a great day.